So today, what we're going to do, we're going to do gradient at the point. We're going to use limit to find the gradient at the point. So this is the formula that you're going to use for gradient at the point. They say gradient at the point is equals to limit when h approaches 0, f inside is going to be a plus h minus f of a divided by h. So this is going to be the formula that you're going to use. So now let's do an example. So let's say you give an equation that says given the function f of x is equals to 2, x squared minus 5x. Determine the gradient of the tangent to the curve at a point where they say that point is x is equals to 2. So now let's do the solution. First of all, I want to discuss something. When they say determine the gradient of a tangent of the curve, e here, sorry, of the curve at a point, right? That's basically this whole thing that I just highlighted. That's basically in simple term. That's what gradient at the point. So when they say determine the gradient of the tangent to the curve at a point, they're looking for gradient at the point, right? Then now another thing that I want to talk about, I want to talk about this x is equals to 2. This x is equals to 2. That's the same as a. So this x is the same as a is equals to 2. So the point that they give you, which is x is equals to 2, is the same as this. So whatever value that you get x is equals to, that's going to be your a, right? Because of we need a in our formula. So now we're going to do it step by step. The first step, we're going to find f of a. Then the second step, we're going to find f of a plus h. Then we're going to simplify it. That's step number three. Then after simplifying it, then we can substitute it in the formula. So step number one, right? What we're going to do, we need to find f of a. After finding f of a, what do we know? We have f of x. So we know that f of x, right, is equals to what? It's equals to 2x squared minus 5x. Now we need to find f of a. So wherever we see x, we're going to substitute a. So we're going to say f of a. Now it's going to be equals to. So now wherever we see x, we're going to have a. So it's going to be 2 open bracket a squared minus 5a, right? But now we know that a is equals to 2. So now we're going to substitute this a by 2. So we're going to say f of 2. When we do that, it's going to be 2. Wherever we see what, we see a, we're going to substitute 2. So it's going to be open bracket 2 squared minus 5, what? 5, 2. Right? Then when we simplify this, we know that f of 2, which is the same as f of a, is equals to what? Is equals to negative 2 when you punch this in the calculator. So now this is going to be the same as being your f of a. This is the same thing. f of a is the same as f of 2. Right? So we're done looking for f of a. So now what we need to do is we need to find our f of a plus h so that's what we need to do right so that's step number two so let's do that so now doing the same thing that we did here we know that f of x is equals to what is equals to 2 x squared minus 5 x but now we need a plus x meaning we're going to substitute this x by this so it's going to be f of a plus h right so wherever now wherever we see x we're going to substitute by a plus x so it's going to be 2 open bracket a plus h minus 5 this is all squared then this is going to be a plus h so now we know that a equals to 2 so we're going to substitute this a by 2 so it's going to be f of 2 plus h close bracket is equals to 2 then it's going to be 2 plus h. So wherever we see a, we're going to substitute by 2. So that's what I'm doing. Minus 5. It's going to be 2 plus h. Right? So now let's simplify this. So when we simplify this, it's going to be what? It's going to be 2 open 2 brackets. So it's going to be 2 plus h. Then it's going to be 2 plus h. Minus 5. 2 plus h right so when we simplify this it's going to be 2 4 then it's going to be plus 2 h 
it's going to be another 2h then the last one is plus h squared right and when we just when we expand this when we distribute the 5 it's going to be minus 10 that's going to be minus 5h right so let's continue to simplify it so here what we're going to be left is going to be two open brackets simplify this inside it's going to be 4 plus 4h then it's going to be plus h squared minus 10 minus 5h so now when we simplify it when we distribute the two inside it's going to give us what 8 plus 8h plus 2 h squared minus 10 minus 5 h right group like terms so when we group like terms 8 minus 10 is going to give me negative 2 so this and this are going to cancel now plus 8 and minus 5 is going to give me plus 3 h so this and this are done now then we left with the last one which is this one it's going to be plus 2 h squared so now this is the same as what f of a plus h step number three from our original formula we need to find the numerator so we want the numerator so i'm gonna say f of a plus h minus f of a that's what i'm looking for so we already have this one right and we already have we already have f of a so i'm going to substitute that by that so we know the fact that our f of a plus h is equals to this whole thing is going to be equals to what negative 2 i'm substituting this one negative 2 plus 3 h plus 2 h squared minus i'm going to substitute f of a by this one which is going to be negative to open bracket because since it's a negative then you're going to say negative 2 right simplify it when we simplify this is going to be negative 2 plus 3h plus 2h squared plus 2 the negative 2 and plus 2 are going to give me 0 so they're going to cancel each other so when I'm done simplifying this I'm going to be left with 3h plus 2h squared I have a common factor of h so I'm going to take that out so it's going to be h open bracket 3 plus 2 h close bracket so now step number four right what's going to be we're going to take the gradient of points so now we're looking for the gradient at a point right then the limit that's step number four when h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h so now we're going to substitute the numerator in the formula so it's going to be limit when h approaches zero right of f of a minus f of f of a plus h minus f of a which is this so it's going to be h because we already have simplified it so it's going to be h this is this so it's going to be h 3 plus 2h divided by h, right? See this. We see the fact that we have h here and h here. And since I took the h as a common factor, this h is multiplying by this whole expression inside. So what can we do is we can cancel out the h's. So that's what I'm going to do. So you're going to have the limit of h when h approaches 0 of now 3 plus 2h right so now since there isn't anything that's affecting this to be undefined because there's no denominator we can substitute our h which is our h is zero so let's substitute that remember when you substitute it drops so it's going to be three plus two open bracket zero so therefore our gradient at the point is equals to three and this will be your final answer so now let's look at another example it says determine the gradient of f of x is equals to x negative x cubed plus plus 2x plus 1 at a point x is equals to 1. remember the fact that whatever you get as x is equals to something this is the a the value so this is going to be the same as a is equals to 
1. So we know the fact that our a is going to be equals to 1. So now step 1 is what we need to find f of a, right? So we know that f of a is equals to f of 1. So now, wherever we see what, wherever we see x here, we're going to substitute it by 1. So let's do that. So it's going to be f of 1 is equals to what? Negative open bracket 1 cubed plus 2 open bracket 1 plus plus 1. And that's going to give you positive 2. So we know that f of a is equals to 2. So now step number two, we need to find f of a plus h. But what do we know? We know the fact that our a is 1, so it's the same as finding f of 1 plus h. So now in the x value here, wherever we see x, we're going to substitute by 1 plus h. So let's do that. So it's going to be minus open bracket. It's going to be 1 plus h all cubed. Then it's going to be plus 2. It's going to be 1 plus h. Then the last one is going to be plus 1. So now what we need to do is we need to expand this one. So when we expand it, it's going to be minus 3 brackets. Because to the power 3, so it's going to be 1 plus h. 1 plus h. Then it's going to be 1 plus h. This is going to be plus 2. Open bracket 1 plus h h plus 1. So when we expand the two brackets here, it's going to be minus, it's going to be 1 plus h. When we expand this, it's going to give me what? 1, right? Plus 2h plus h squared. Close bracket plus 2, 1 plus h plus 1. So now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this Two, so I'm going to distribute this one too. So it's going to be 1 multiplied by 1 is going to give me minus. It's going to give me 1. 1 multiplied by two, uh, 2 h is going to be plus 2 h. 1 multiplied by h squared is going to be plus h squared. Then now is the h term. So it's going to be h multiplied by 1 is going to give me plus h. It's going to be plus 2 h squared. Then the last one is going to be plus what? H cubed. Then this is going to be a closing bracket. You're going to distribute the two. So it's going to be plus 2 plus 2H. And the last one is going to be plus 1. Right? So now we're going to simplify this one inside. So what's going to give me? It's going to give me negative open bracket. It's going to be 1. This. So it's going to be plus 3H. Then h squared plus is going to be another plus 3h squared. And the last one is going to be plus h cubed. Then this is going to be plus, plus 2 plus 2h plus 1. So now we're going to distribute the negative. So it's going to be minus 1 minus 3h. It's going to be minus 3h squared minus h cubed and the last one you see the fact that we have a 2 and a 1 so it's going to be the same as plus 3 plus 2h simplify it further we're going to group like terms we have negative 1 and plus 3 which is going to give me what it's going to give me a positive 2 so this and this are going to cancel we have a negative 3h and a positive h so it's going to be minus h so this and this are going to cancel then we're going to have negative what 3h squared and the last one is going to be h cubed so now this is going to be your f of a plus h so now let's move on to step number three step number three we need to solve for the numerator which is f of a plus h minus f of a we already have h of a plus h, so that's going to be equals to 2 minus h minus 3h squared minus h cubed minus open bracket our f of a, which is 2. Simplify this. We see the fact that it's going to be 2 minus h minus 3h minus 3h squared minus h cubed 
this is going to be minus 2. This positive 2 and negative 2 are going to give me 0, so they're going to cancel each other. What's going to be left is negative h minus 3h squared, then minus h cubed. Take out the h as a common factor. So when we take out h as a common factor, we're going to be left with negative 1 here. Then here we're going to be left with negative 3h. Then the last one's going to be h squared. Now let's move on to the last part, which we find in gradient at a point. So that's going to be equal to the limit when h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h, right? So now let's substitute our step number 3 here. So it's going to be what? The limit still. When h approaches 0, the step number 3, so it's going to be h, open bracket, negative 1, minus 3h minus h squared divided by h. Then our h's are going to cancel out, so what we're going to be left with this part, so it's going to be the limit. When h approaches 0 of negative 1 minus 3h minus h squared. Now, since there is no denominator, we can substitute the h, so it's going to be, going to be negative 1 minus, minus 3, open bracket, 0 minus 0 squared. So our final answer is going to be negative 1. So negative 1 is your final answer for this question.